right, so we have here a Jazzy 600 ES. So if you order a brand new G Jazzy 600 ES from us, this is the way it's going to look like when it arrives to your driveway. The top box is going to be your seat and the bottom box is going to be your base. All, you, all I need for this is I need a, an Allen set wrench and a box cutter. That's usually what I use. So I'm going to put those here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the seat off. Put it over there. So, so you'll cut the, uh, the yellow straps. So once you've got the yellow straps cut, you can actually open the box. You can see it. Once you've got the box open, you can see inside of here is your chair, okay? Is your Jazzy 600ES. I'm going to take this plastic out of the way. And on the foot plate here, you can see we have the, the joystick that goes on the arm. So I'm going to put that over here. I'm going to put my garbage on the left side. We also have here, on the back of the chair, the charger. So I'm going to put the parts on this side, the garbage on the left side, so I don't lose any parts. Okay? So now, what you can also do, once the chair is in there like that, you can just grab your box, put it over there, and you can see now, you've got your base sitting there, and you'll remove these four corners. You'll remove any excess boxes, except all this stuff that doesn't need to be there anymore. And at this point, you're going to need two people, okay? Unless, unless you want to do it this way, which you could do it this way. If you're by yourself, you could just break, break the foam in front, okay, right here. So break the foam. The chair is probably in gear right now, so you would put the levers down here on both sides. Now the chair is in neutral, so I could technically lift it. and pull it out. So if you're by yourself, you can actually grab it from the front and pull it out. And now we've got the base here. So I just removed the pallet and then all the garbage. So you have your power chair that's still in neutral from when I, when I rolled it out of that pallet. So what you'll do is you'll put it back in gear, up and up. So now it's in gear so it doesn't move when you're uh, working on it. The next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna wanna check to make sure the batteries are connected. So you're going to go to the front right here. Right here in the front of the chair, there's two levers, one on each side. If I squeeze them in together, I can pull the cover out, and you can see the batteries are not connected. You can see the connectors are open. The top ones are probably connected. Now yeah, the top ones are not connected. You have two connectors. Two here, so you just connect them together. There's one and you connect the other one. It's, it's a dummy proof so you shouldn't have no problem. Push the battery back in and you should be able, once the two batteries are connected, put the cover back on. And then snap your, snap your little handles back in. And now you've got the cover back on, you've got the power on. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to open the seat, the box of the seat right here. So I'm going to take my uh, trusty knife right here. We're going to open the box. I'm going to put this away. All right, so this is the seat. So when you open the box, what it looks like in here, you'll see your you'll see your headrest right here. So this is your headrest. 
I'm going to put that here for now. These are your arms, your elbows for your for your arms. So you have two of them in this box. So we're going to put the garbage on that side. I'm going to take the plastic off the elbows of the arms. So you have two elbows. What else we have in here? We have paper, and these are the arms, okay? So these are your two arms in that box. You'll see, really nice arms. So we'll put them here with the elbow, because we'll have to use those in a minute. Put those here, so we have two arms and two elbows and a headrest so far. The only thing left in here is the seat. So I'm going to take the seat out of here, get rid of the box, take the plastic out the seat, I'm going to get rid of all this garbage here real quick. All right, now, we have the seat over here. I'm gonna put the seat this way so you can see the bottom of the seat, okay? This is the bottom of your seat right there. Very important. Before you put your seat on your chair, if you want the seat higher, these poles right here have to be elevated. So if you look right here, on both of these, there's two Allen screws. So you take this one and this one on the both side, all four corners, and you can raise these poles up two or three inches, okay? Most of the time, we don't have to raise the seats, but that's how you would raise the seat before you put it on there, because it's gonna be too heavy once it's on there. Raise the hit to the height that you want it, and then put the bolts back in. It's a little bit of work if you're gonna do that. So you need an Allen wrench again for that. All right, so we have our seat right here. So before you put the seat on this Jazzy 600ES, you need to come over here and check on this bar right here. If this, if this Jazzy 600 has these little tabs right here, you can see them in the back right there. There's two little tabs, they're bolted with 7 16 bolts. They have to be removed. So this seat will not go on these poles if these tabs are there. So you need to remove these two tabs. This was for the older seats on this chair. They came out with a better seat. So I've already got them loosened up. So I'm gonna just finish on loosening them. So you have these two little tabs. You can throw them away. There's one and there's two. And that's a 7 16 if you need to know the size. This is a 7 16 bolt. So now you'll take your seat. And if you look at your seat, I'm going to put it sideways. You see how it goes into it goes in from the front, front first, and then it drops to the back. So what you would do, and the seat is about 40 pounds, so it's not a lightweight seat. So you would put it on here. You want to make sure you line it up. All right, now it's it's on the front. You can see it. it, it, it that it's good, and then it'll just drop. You heard it, it's already locked in place. You can see it's locked in place. If you need to take this seat off over here, you have a handle here. With this handle, you just pull on the handle. It is a hard one to do. It's a hard one to do, so you need to pull really hard. So if you have to pull this seat off, have someone help you. So you really have to pull really hard. So now it's back locked. So what we're going to do now, we're going to raise the seat up. There's a handle here on the side to raise it up. We're going to insert the, uh, the elbow. It doesn't really matter what side you put on first. We're going to put one here. We're going to put one on this side. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to insert one arm. You're going to insert the other arm. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to take your Allen wrench, because you notice how the arm is loose. So you take your Allen wrench, 
and you can see this can be adjusted any height that you want. Okay, so I'm gonna just gonna put it out of the way one inch from the bottom. So I'm gonna go one inch from the top. So go up one inch, because if you leave them down, they're not gonna flip up really good. Go up just a little bit. There's an Allen screw here. Turn it until you feel the pressure on the arm. Do the other side also. Do. You've got this tight right here where the arm pulls out. There's also another screw in the bottom right here. So if you wanted the arms out more, you could have them out. But I'm gonna leave them close to the seat. There's one right in here with a little plastic tab. So you need to do that one also and tighten up that one. You can see now there's no more shaking the arms. So on this side also, Okay, until, it, until it's all tight. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, your box of your joystick right here. You're gonna take your joystick out of the box. Here it is. Undo the cable. This is your your, your uh, bar for the joystick, so you're going to have to undo this also. In, the, in your bag, where your owner's manual is, are your screws for your joystick. So you would go in here. There's a little bag here with four screws and two little plates. So you want to get those out of your owner's manuals bag. And I'm going to put them on the ground here so you can see them. Four screws and two plates. So what you'll do is you'll take your joystick upside down. You'll slide these two plates in there. One, two, so, they're, so they match the holes, they slide right out until you put your bolts in. And then you're going to take your, your plate like this. So you can put it this way. I would put the plate upside down this way. It keeps the joystick lower instead of having it higher, okay? So I'm going to put this back in here again one more time. Put it low. I'm going to take one of my screws. See if I can start screwing one, one of these in there. By hand, I'm gonna put the second screw, all four screws. And you need a Phillips screwdriver, which I happen to have one here. So you'll need a Phillips screwdriver also. I told him to wait. So you're gonna tighten up those four Phillips screws. Until they're tight. So hopefully this will help you put this chair together when you get it. And if you like this information, make sure you follow us and like us on our website. So. It doesn't matter what side you put it on. If you're left-handed, it would be on this side. If you're right-handed, it'd be on this side. So I'm gonna put it on the right side. And now, how far do you want it? I'm gonna put it at standard length. I'm gonna keep it straight. I'm gonna tighten up the Allen screw under there, if I get the right size. So I'm gonna put it straight, tighten it up, okay? So now you've got that done. Now, I'm gonna turn the chair around to show you something here. I'm gonna put it in neutral for a second so you have a better view of what I'm doing here. I'm gonna put it back in gear because we have no power yet. So you're gonna take this cable here 
and you're going to run it under the arm right here and in your bag with your uh, you have some tie down cables here okay so you're going to run it under the arm here to the back right here and if you go to the back of the chair if you look right here there's a little there's a little plug coming out it should still be wrapped with plastic I'm gonna take the plastic off of it if the plug is not there if it fell in into the box all you have to do is pull that yellow screw here both yellow screws out and pull this cover up okay if this thing happened to fall in there what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the power to the chair now we're plugged in and the only thing left is to tie your cable around your arms so it doesn't dang so it doesn't dangle down so now I'm gonna turn the power on on the chair and we have power okay so What will you need? You'll need a Phillips screwdriver. You'll need a, a 716 key and an Allen wrench set and a box cutter. Those are the four things you'll need to put this chair together, to put the arms on, to put the joystick on here, to run the cable under here. And you have some tie downs in your bag, your owner's manual, which will be in the back pouch. And the last thing you would do, you would take your headrest right here, stick it into here, and that headrest is also adjustable there's a little pin on here if you see I'll loosen it up you'll see how it moves up and down okay so I can put it in here adjust the height that I want it always tighten up the pin and then it's still wobbled I'm going to turn the knob here what that will do that'll take most of the wobble out of the chair all right all right so this is how you put the Jazzy 600ES out of the box. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If you watch the video two or three times, you'll, get the, you'll, get the, you'll, you'll see how easy it is to put together. I'm trying to do this in 10 minutes. I mean, I would take half hour, 45 minutes if I were you. Uh, we're doing it so you, you give you some example how to put the chair together. Your safety belt is here on the seat. You just take the cover off the safety belt. So this is how you put the chair together. If you have any questions, just look at the phone number. Give us a call at 800-677-6293. And we have plenty of these shares and they're always on special. Give us a call. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.